Let's go over a couple of things. Number one, my last video. Uh, funny story. I told you guys that I was not able to use my S Pen on One UI 4. And that's true. I wasn't able to use my S Pen on my Z Fold 3 on the One UI 4 beta. But somebody, I'm going to put their comment here actually, told me, well, try changing out the tip of your S Pen. So I said, hey, you know, that's actually a pretty good idea. Didn't know that you could do that. So as I go to change the S Pen tip here, I noticed that I keep putting the tip inside of here and it keeps falling out. It won't stay up. I use the clip to pull it inside and dip it upside, you know, turn it upside down like this and the tip just keeps falling out. So I'm thinking, what in the world's going on? These tips are supposed to fit this S Pen. And as it turns out, those tips did not fit this S Pen because this is not the Fold Edition S Pen. <laughs> and that was my mistake. So this S Pen, is an older S Pen that I got, but it looks just like the Fold Edition. So then I go looking throughout the house and I actually find the Fold Edition S Pen. This is just a sleeve, this is my S Pen. Fold Edition S Pen, it's here. So when I grabbed, it's kind of hard to see if you just grab it, huh? This one's a little bit thicker, but you know, it says very clearly right here, Fold Edition. I'm gonna put that on the screen. Fold Edition, definitely, um, not my brightest moment. But thank you to, again, the comment section. That's where all the best ac action happens, actually. But yeah, thank you to uh, pointing that out that I should actually try to change the S Pen. It's kind of what led me to trying to change the S Pen tip and figuring out that I have just a completely wrong bag on S Pen. So yeah, these tips are different. Don't know how well you can actually see it in the video. But the Fold Editions one is thicker, but it also directly says Fold Edition. So if you just pick up an S Pen, don't make my mistake. So apologies, but yeah, I just grabbed the wrong S Pen. Man, I'm sure that's, that's probably happened to somebody else. I bet one of you have actually picked up the wrong S Pen before. So for the rest of this video, I actually want to go over a feature that was left inside of the comment section from our first channel poll. Thank you to everybody who participated in that. And somebody left a really good comment. I'm gonna post their suggestion right here. So I went and bought a uh, icon pack from the Play Store and I'm gonna leave a link to that right inside of the description on below. But anyways, I downloaded this icon pack that it works with Android 12 so that when you change your wallpaper, Right, that's just full edition S Pen. <laughs> so that when you change your wallpaper, um, it's gonna actually change the icons and it's gonna change those widgets, um, the Android 12 widgets to take effect also. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. Okay, you all see how this image looks right now. You see the widgets and you see how the icon pack looks with the color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over. And I'm gonna make this the background now. So I'm gonna set this as the wallpaper. And then let's check out how everything is going to change. So once you go to set your wallpaper, go ahead and you can sync your edit, do it however you want to. But you see how those are pink right now? Set on lock and home screens. You're gonna get this pop up. And from here, you can pick which color pattern that you want. Notice how it's changing like my brightness bar. We're gonna leave it as this and I'm gonna put set as color palette and watch how it changes things. And here we are. Notice how the widgets change and the icons change. Looks really nice. Now, let's go over some. You notice how these Google applications have not changed here? Well, this is something that I'm seeing and I'm mostly seeing this inside of the One UI 4 Samsung because if you're using a third-party launcher like Nova or Niagara, you're not getting this problem. However, Samsung, of course, is making sure that their icons are actually changing. Now, this is not an icon pack that I'm using. This is just the native One UI 4 icons. So let's go ahead and change it to a different wallpaper again to check out how this one looks. Okay, got a blue one here. Let's go ahead and set as wallpaper, home and lock screens, and just watch how it actually changes and how it gives you these different options here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, I like the purple, but I, I like this blue here. So set as color palette and watch the change happen. And there we go. This looks really, really nice. Really like this. All right, so if you want to change the icon pack, you can, and I'm going to show you what that looks like now. All right, so now we get to the theme park application and go ahead and click on icon. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the um, icon pack here, picks material you, and I'm going to hit apply. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and change. If you're wondering how to change your icon pack, 
I did a video on that, so that I'm going to link that right up the top here. And this is the one that is linked inside of the uh, description on below. And this icon pack works pretty good. You see, most of the ones change now. It looks like they've been some updates to this icon pack because it looks like more have changed now. Let's check out the Google apps. Most of these have changed now too. So before, when I first downloaded this icon pack last week, all of these Google applications wasn't changing like it is now. This is working way better now because these icons wasn't really changing. And so I'm glad to see this update now. So anyways, let's check out the widgets. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on widgets. And let's actually go up to, here we go. Pixel Material U icons and widgets. So these ones here are going to be the ones that you can actually pick. And when you change the wallpaper, it's going to change it. Now this will change the icon color um, on the cover display. So that lock screen cover display on a Z Fold 3, that is going to change it there. If you're just using you know any other kind of Android device or rectangular bar, then you're going to be fine either way. But just so you're aware, on the cover display it is. So this is going to change whenever. Now one thing that I have seen is if you're using a third party launcher and you go to actually update this, it's still looking back at One UI 4, at least at the time that I was testing it over the last couple of days. Maybe today's going to be different, but I'll show you what I mean right now. Okay, so now we got Nova Launcher opened. This is Nova Launcher. All right, so let's say I want to change the wallpaper here inside of Nova Launcher to something else. Let's change the wallpaper. And I'm going to change it to this one here. I'm going to set as wallpaper, home and lock screen. Now you notice one, it didn't prompt me to change the icons, but it also didn't give me just any kind of interface to let me change. But you also notice that the widgets and the icons didn't automatically change either. So the way that I've seen to do this is to actually go back to One UI 4 and actually change it. So now I'm going to go back to One UI uh, 4 here the beta and then I'm going to go to wallpaper and style and let's see color palette and now I can go ahead and change this okay so this one actually updated um, but you see it didn't update all of them you see it starts to get this issue here sometimes where they're not all updating these are my Google ones and you see my Samsung ones updated for the most part except for the pinup but my Google ones are still blue like before so if you change the wallpaper here it's not going to automatically update those and you see what the way that I just did it back a second ago you see that my widgets these are now this color but my icons are still like this bluish color let's try this one and see how it goes we're going to set as wallpaper, home and lock screens. Okay, I'm going to move this one up here. I like this all green one here. Okay, so this one actually changed it some. Well, as you can see, my Google ones have not changed at all. Uh, let's go open up Nova Launcher and see what it looks like there. I'm going to go into the gallery and change my wallpaper again. And let's see, can I do it from the gallery and have it work right here inside of Nova Launcher? Okay, so I'm inside of the Samsung Gallery application. I'm going to go ahead and set this as the wallpaper on the home and lock screen and see does it give me the option to do it here. So it does give me the option. I'm going to go to set as color palette and let's check out how it looks. So as you can see here on the Nova home screen, it did change my widgets, but my icons have not changed. It's still green from before, so it's not fully registering. So I'm going to go back to the One UI 4 because these still look blue and green, but they should be like this purplish pink color. I'm going to go back to One UI 4 and I'm going to see what that looks like there. So this is back on One UI 4 and as you can see the icons did change. My Google ones are still bluish color. They haven't switched over to the pink like it should be. So as of right now from what I'm seeing, um, it looks like just the widgets and the icons. This is working great on the One UI 4 beta, but so far the third party applications aren't fully working. Uh, it does also look like even on One UI 4 beta that when it comes to updating the colors, that even the Google applications are not fully working. Just a quick overview for what that experience is going to be like. They do look really nice. And like I said, on a cover display, you are going to have these, like since I changed the color palette here to pink, you're going to have some pinkish colored ones on a cover display. So third party applications work somewhat um, but it's just inconsistent. One UI 4 beta, it does work on the Galaxy uh, applications, 
but if it's even just Google's applications, it's not really switching it over the way that it should be. That icon pack looks really nice and works better on third party applications if you can get it to work consistently. And I'm sure one of you uh, already have figured out how to get it to work consistently over on Nova Launcher and on maybe even like Niagara Launcher. So if you know how to do that, Please share it with the rest of us so that we can get it to work consistently on those third party launchers. I know it hasn't been officially released, so I'm not expecting it to work perfectly just yet, but it would be nice if we can, uh, if there is already a way to do it, um, you know, just go ahead and share the information with us so that, hey, we can all get on that train and <laughs> stop hooking up our wallpapers and icons. Anyways, if you're still here, that means that you really like this video. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that we can hang out some more. And I plan to drop more videos. Of course, that's going to be going over the Z Fold 3, more Android tips, things that we talked about inside of that poll, more videos coming about those. And I haven't done an emulation video just yet, but it's coming. It's coming. And so anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you inside of the next video.